going to do a review of the muscle fiber. Okay, muscle fiber. Sarcolemma, the outer membrane. Right? Each one of these is a myofibril. And that's the contractile organelle of the cell. Every myofibril contains proteins. Actin, myosin, thin filament, thick filament. Okay, a lot of details for us to talk about. We'll talk about that in lecture. All right, but made up of protein. Thin and thick filaments. Every myofibril is covered in sarcoplasmic reticulum here in TAM. All the sarcoplasmic reticulum is connected to T-tubules in blue. And they come out and connect to the membrane. The T-tubules role is to transmit the signal, known as action potential, from the membrane down the T-tubules to all of the sarcoplasmic reticulum covering all of the myofibrils so that they can contract. This is a nucleus. In red, you have a bunch of mitochondria. Mitochondria are gonna provide the ATP for the cell. On the outside of the cell, all the cells, every single muscle fiber covered in endomyceum, connective tissue covering like a fascia. Here on the side, we see the end of the motor neuron. So here in yellow, that's the axon. This is called the Schwann cell. It covers and protects the axon. Here the axon ends. And then coming off of the axon, here in yellow, here, 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 telodendria. The telodendria are little branches that come off the axon and connect to the muscle cell. Right? These here, this blob here, and this blob here, a little half a blob, there you see cut open, it's nucleus, it's a myosatellite cell myosatellite cell. Now let's look at the details going on here. The axon ends, the telodendria begins. Inside the telodendria are little vesicles in white. They contain the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. You see some mitochondria. The gray space is the synaptic cleft. The folded, ruffled membrane, this is the sarcolemma. This is the motor end plate. It's where the telodendria meets the muscle cell. A little folded motor end plate. The vesicles release acetylcholine. Acetylcholine floats across the synaptic cleft. It attaches to receptors on the motor end plate. And now the signal from the neuron has been transferred to the membrane of the muscle cell.